Okay, here's where I stand on the whole Roger Cruz, Joe Madureira tracing controversy. Artists all learn by copying other artists. And if you really like an artist, you want your art to look like theirs. That's why I'm doing this 100 artist challenge. Learning from the greats. When Cruz started working, Jim Lee was the hottest thing ever. So he left for Image and Marvel wanted Jim Lee type artists and Cruz could fill that need. Then Joe Mad was the hottest new thing, but it seems like guest artists were needed for his Uncanny X-Men run. So Cruz could do Joe's style as well, spot on. A bit too spot on according to this Joe Mad Easter egg. I think this is fine because he's taking a certain way of hatching, which is done by many artists. This here probably crosses a line for me just because I think Cruz is a good enough artist that he could have changed it a little bit like David Mack did here. I don't think there's a problem here. But then you say, well, what about this pose? Like every 90s artist has drawn this dozens of times. And um, in the end, I think the editor should be the policeman on this stuff. And if it sees print, enjoy it or don't buy it. I loved Cruz's X-Force Youngblood crossover. So I'm going to draw Marky Mark and Kate Moss in Cruz's style for that crossover. Would I have loved it more if Joe Mad drew it? Probably. Did I care? No. Can Cruz draw hotter booties? Yeah, he's from Brazil after all. So fun to see Cable meet his ripoff. Okay, I don't want to be a hypocrite, so let's change. <laughs> let's change the pose a little bit. Even on Marky Mark and Kate Moss. So I think, yeah, Gambit and Rogue. Maybe this could be a line to draw. Like if you use reference, take it from multiple images and make a new one. But whatever, man, let's just draw beautiful stuff. Well, I really love this Supreme uh, drawing because the, um, the angles in the muscles are so exaggerated, especially that back arm. So using those soft diamond shapes in the muscles. Keep flipping it to get a fresh view. Let's give Gambit the bandana. And pouches, why not? It is the 90s. Sharp hair. And those Joe Mad hands. By the way, I did a whole video just on how Joe Matt draws hands. So if you want to practice that, check it out. Using a thick brush, trying to get as much difference between thick and thin in the lines, because that's also why I love that Supreme, because the inking has those really thin and thick lines combined. Okay, and the color, it was the 90s, but they were already doing that sharp three-tone coloring. I'm, uh, I'm really curious to know where you guys stand on the whole uh, inspiration versus imitation issue. So let me know in the comments. Okay, little backdrop and it is done. Cool. If I look at this tomorrow, I'll find a lot of stuff wrong with it. But for today, I'm happy. Drop a like if you think I succeeded in this style and catch you in the next one.